Hello guys, it's Gamestar here. We are, today we are going to do another thing which is reacting to videos. This is one video from last daily that I was recommended by my friend and it says that one week in Hawaii. Let's check out what Hawaii has. And let's get into it. Hey, let me ask you a question. How long is your name? See, most names are actually not that long. Sarah, Mark, and Josh. But... Guys, comment down below how long is your name. <laughs> the longest name in the comments gets a shout out. But I have just arrived to a place where people's names are extremely long. Like this name. Heilani Kaiko Kuakini Makayo. Tonight. What? Heilani Kaiko Kuakini Makayo? What's that? Kakafua Lehua on a Palika Hila Kaala. What? Is that a sentence or a name? Tenaya Kapua Lehua on a Pali Kahila Kaala. Kuikio Kalania Ali Kumakani. Kiukeo kalane ali ikumakane ikumakani kamakea ohe ohelo kamakea ohelo kani ona hoku ona lani ken take you kani ona hoku hoku ona lani kenta kenta e ushi. This is how. Wait, let me hear those names again. I can't believe it. Tanaya Kapua Lehua on a place where people's names are extremely long. Like this name. Yalani Kaiko Kuakini Makayo. Tanaya Kapua Lehua on a Palika Hila Kaala. Kuiki Okalania Ali Kumakani Kamakea Ohala. This name sounds funny. I don't know why. <laughs> This is Hawaii, one of the most unique U.S. states where people have names in the Hawaiian language that are so long they can barely fit on an ID card. What? How long is their ID cards? Comment down below how long is their ID cards. I think it's like 15 centimeters. Estimation, I've never seen an Hawaii ID card. Because here, names have meaning. So this name actually means Heavenly Man of the Stars. Wow, 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 wow. So names are sentences and they have meanings. Wow, I wish I had a name like that. Hawaiian names are not just words, they can also be a sentence, a poem, thought, or a feeling. Imagine your name is a poem. How will you feel? The whole poem is your name, like Kentakyushi. Uh, like this, uh, the longest uh, Hawaii name. What's the longest Hawaii name? Uh, in the end of the video, I'll show you in Google the longest Hawaii name. Visit the state of Hawaii because here the people actually live up to their name. That's one minute. This is not an easy job. Sometimes everything is against you. And when things. Hawaiian clothes. Do you see these Hawaiian clothes? They are so comfortable. I don't know why. And so colorful. Wow. I, uh, Hawaii is, uh, is like a dream place. Hi there! This shirt is why Hawaiian clothes are the best. See, in many countries around the world, people judge you based on what you wear. If a hundred percent, that's a hundred percent. You dress a little bit different, a little bit off, then you're weird. But not here in Hawaii. In this island, you can look as colorful as you possibly want, and no one will judge you. Instead, they will love you. 
and put even more colors on you. Because even that boring business suit in Hawaii looks like flowers. So many people, including me, could learn a thing or two from these guys. That life is not black or white, so your clothes... Uh, guitar man it's the second time I seeing him in this video this is like the second video now in, uh, in one video it doesn't have to be either here you can wear whatever you want Homelessness, poverty, drugs. So many people say be careful of the homeless. But what I'm about to show you will change your mind just like it changed mine. Will it change your minds, guys? Comment down below if it will change your minds what he's going to show us. See, I have just arrived to an entire village with no houses because everyone here is homeless. Then how do they live? And I hear that Hawaii is one of the richest places in the world. How? Now, many people will stop watching this video because we have a stereotype against homeless people. Most likely, they do drugs, they steal, and most likely, they are dangerous. We think they are homeless and hopeless, but this village is not. How? How? Comments down below, guys. How? In this village, 200 homeless people got together and made their own village with their own rules. That will surprise you. Here, you can't make noise after 8 p.m. You can't steal, you can't do drugs, you can't even unleash your dog. And if you do any of the above, you are out. We have strict rules here and zero tolerance policy. So this homeless village has become a place that's safe for everybody, tourists and locals alike. It is also a place where our community lives. They built a park for kids to play at, a gym to work out at, a small zoo, a plantation farm, and a small made-up beach. What? When you look up from the drone, you see like it's a little bit dirty, but when you see from the ground, it's very, very beautiful. Every Sunday, people have to clean this whole place up. Comments down below, guys, except for the Singapore people, because I've already visited Singapore people. They are one of the cleanest people in the world. Comments down be uh, below, guys, if your country is clean or unclean or dirty. And every month, they have to spend eight hours of volunteering per adult. Yeah! They celebrate Christmas and they teach each other sign language. Why? Because this village has one deaf kid and they wanted him to feel included. All of this is in a city full of homeless people. life is the choice of nobody. Hawaii, where they live, is beautiful, but it's also one of the most expensive U.S. states with the highest rates of homelessness. Just ask their leader. Aloha, I'm the leader here in the village. Even if we are houseless, 60% of us do have jobs. They just don't have enough to have a house. I don't choose to live like this. But this is all my money can afford. And even if people live in tents, this village is safe, they have rules, they are inclusive, and they are appreciative of what they have, no matter how much they don't have. You could be in worse places than where you are right now. Just be thankful for where you stay and make it work. Yes. And so, 
sorry, a little bit emotional. No, 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 no. Luckily, this story has a happy ending. The village is so respected that donations of money and food have come from all around the state, and support for them has been tremendous. Wow, wow. If you have donated to these people, shout out to you guys. You are the most amazing people in the world. You help them so much. So much that in the next few years, they will purchase their own land and live in their own home. We're halfway there. This village wanted me to tell you that even if they don't have money, they are not homeless or hopeless or lawless. They are just houseless. Love you guys. Love you too, Naz. But maybe not for long. next to me doesn't need to use Google. Here is why. Hey, I am Cap. I can do everything only using my body, 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 body. With him. What? What? He can do everything using his body. That's wonderful. That's like an angel. Body Cap can do wonders. He can start a fire with his hands and put off a fire with his feet. What? He can put off a fire with his feet? How can he do that, my? Oh my gosh. He can find a coconut tree with his legs. Husk a coconut with his mouth. Um, this man is strong. I think he's stronger than uh, Roman Reigns. Open it with his muscles and milk it with his hands. What? 100% organic. And his tattoos? I did by myself. What? This 52 Tattoos did by yourself without a machine. How can you do that? Oh my god. He rolled is super fit and young because he only eats vegan food. But sometimes you gotta eat fish. Cap grew up in the small country of Samoa. And in Samoa we learn how to survive from our ancestors. At a time where everything we know we get from the internet? It is refreshing to see people who can survive without it. Just one minute. We'll see you tomorrow. This video is about the life of a teacher like Mr. T. Hi, I'm Mr. T. And this is my life. Mr. T is a history teacher who is paid to teach kids history. No more, no less. But Mr. T loves to put effort. So he spent his own money on pianos, supplies, what? ukuleles to teach his kids music. Remember, he does all of this as an extra. Music allows the soul to breathe. In any other job, more work equals more pay. But Mr. T, like many any teacher doesn't do it for the money. This job you can't do just for the money. He comes in early, leaves late, and is exhausted by the end of the day every day. What? Boom shaka! Boom shaka! So many teachers go the extra mile. They put the extra effort, extra time, extra love to raise future generations for little money and little recognition. Today, we celebrate the Mr. T's of the world. That's for me! See you tomorrow! Shaka! Hi! Yesterday, my father called me and said, You're lucky you're going to Hawaii! I said, why? Then he replied, Because in Hawaii, there are no snakes. No snakes, snakes, what? snakes, snakes. 
it turns out my dad is right. The Hawaiian Islands are so remote from the rest of the world that here there are no animals to be scared of. No snakes, no tigers, no hyenas, no lions, no crocodiles. Not here, here, or anywhere in the entire state of Hawaii. The only thing to worry about are tiny bugs, pigs, your neighbor's dog, and a few sharks in the ocean. Tell your dad from my dad that at least on this beautiful island in the middle of the ocean, you are safe! That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Before you go, one last thing. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, smash it and the like button and see you on then and share, like, share and subscribe and see you next time. Peace out. And don't forget to subscribe to Nas Daily. Shout out to Nas Daily for making this video so that I can react to this video.